All right, Joanna, why is this day significant for us as women? When people have been doing it, and African Women Day presents a great opportunity for us to celebrate the achievements of African women in the struggle for women and families. It also serves as a working point for us to draw attention to the persistent challenges that women face, challenges particularly related to women's economic empowerment, such as access to productive resources like land and capital, the burden of unpaid care work, and the harmful social and cultural norms that women continue to face. And so as we pat ourselves on the back of this day, we are also reminding ourselves that we are not there yet, and a lot still needs to be done to empower women. How would you then assess uh, structures in place to help empower women from where you said as a, a, a CSO? How would you assess structures in place, especially in Ghana? Let's limit it into uh, Ghana. How would you assess the structures in place to empower women? I can say that we are making progress, yes, both on the government side and on the POC side. But as I have stated, we are not there yet. We do have an adequate uh, legal framework to empower women in Ghana, um, but we are still not there yet. And so we as CSO partners um, are creating awareness around um, the need to continue to work to empower women. And so we are making use of um, exchange um, media platforms such as yours uh, to do advocacy around the need for us to continue to work uh, to support the economic empowerment of women. So what are some of the activities uh, civil society groups like yourself have put in place to empower women? I'll bring the men on board pretty soon, but tell us, civil society organizations like yourself, what have you been doing to empower women? So I know that there are many PSOs in Ghana who are doing their bit to support the economic empowerment of women. Um, Oxfam, for instance, has been going to the Women's Economic Advancement for Collective Project. The project is funded by Global Affairs Canada and working with partners such as Builder, Send Ghana, Biomo, Friends of the Nation, Mossad, Children's Network Ghana, and Interior Women's Association. Mm. The project aims to enhance economic empowerment, well being, and inclusive growth for women in the share and support value chain. It's been implemented in nine districts across six regions of Ghana. As a key contribution to the economic empowerment of women, we are working to equip women with entrepreneurial skills and support them to get additional and alternative livelihoods. We are also working with families to recognize, reduce, and distribute and take care of work in the home through the gender model family approach. The idea is to help free up time for women to be able to participate actively in economic activities outside the home. What forms do your your trainings um, take in empowering these women in cocoa growing areas and all of that? What what form? So we have realized through our baseline that women lack skills in terms of business acumen, negotiation skills, and transformative leadership skills. So these are the type of trainings that we will be giving to the women in the share and local value chain. So the idea is to empower them with the skills they need, either to excel in their own um, value chain, or indeed to venture into alternative and additional value ventures, as we have um, realized through our project most of these women often are idle during the off season, and so they do not have enough income to feed their children here. So these um, skills given is to mainly support them and give them with the skills that they need to be able to excel in their current endeavors, but also to be able to undertake additional life opportunities. Joanna, 
I will come back to you. Please stay on. Don't leave. I want to engage uh, the gentleman in the studio.